previously on Quest Out West. I have been living in abuse. Nothing will make you feel better as fast as this. The transmission is not working right. Would you say that it's a miracle that I drove this from Quebec over the mountains to here? Yeah, without a catching on fire or burning. I am currently living in a broken van that I can't leave the city because I don't trust this van to drive that far. I'm gonna try to sell as much of my stuff as I can to try to make some money so that I can buy a vehicle. I can't buy another vehicle because I can't find one that's within my price range that isn't going to cost even more in repairs. So instead of doing the illogical thing, I'm going to follow my gut and do something stupid. This is what it looks like when your guides are trying to tell you something. Good morning. I'm about to do something crazy and I'm excited. <laughs> I am now the proud owner of not just one, but two broken down vehicles. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just bought this van for a thousand bucks and the plan is I'm gonna flip it. I know what you're thinking. Why are you flipping the minivan when you should be moving into it? I've been looking to buy another vehicle to live in and now that I have one, I'm gonna sell it? When I brought it to be inspected, they told me that it needed a list of repairs that I can't afford. But I negotiated the price down to $1,000 knowing that its minimum trade-in value is over 2 k I figured if I could buy the car super cheap, make it look nice, and resell it for a profit to someone who can afford to fix it, I could use the money I make from the sale to buy another vehicle that won't need as much repairs. Of course, things don't always go as planned. The first thing I'm gonna do is take these stickers off. Then I'm going to try to get this paint off. I'm also gonna repair the little crack on the windshield. And I'm gonna see about the tire pressure because the tire pressure light is on. So that is a very good sign. This is next. We're almost done this side and it's only been about 15 minutes. There's also stickers on the back here that I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take a break right now because I left the cats alone in the van. So I'm gonna go check on them and go pick up some supplies and then come back and park closer to this van. I'm on my way to buy paint thinner and a couple other things to fix this new minivan. I'm a little bit concerned because if I can't get that paint off, we might have a bigger problem. What does that look like to you? Does that not look like a really dirty van? That's the paint job. My theory is that he was having a lot of trouble selling this vehicle because of the paint. And so he listed it at 4,000 and I got it at 1,000 plus tax. And so I think that if I change the paint fix it up a little bit, I'll be able to sell it at a profit. I did manage to get all the stickers off, so I feel like that's at least some progress. Yeah, I think it's working. Looks good. We're starting with a test. It's got a it's got to sit for a bit, from what I understand. I just tried repairing the crack in the windshield, but I can still see this crack. The paint thinner has been sitting for a little over 20 minutes now. I don't think it's working. I took the plastic pieces off, but you can still see 
all of this here, which is the dried resin. And uh, I'm supposed to scratch this off with a razor, which I will not show you for YouTube. But this is just a hot mess. So all these DIYers that are like, oh, it's super simple and then it looks exactly brand new. That's a lie. This is technically the end result, unless I spend like an hour scraping it off with a razor. This is basically the end result. And I'm not going to continue cleaning it up because after I can tell that the crack is really still extremely vis visible, I'm just gonna end up buying a new windshield and replacing it. This stuff. I am not doing this. I am not doing this like this. No, I am not. No. It's the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, we are gonna have bigger problems. Here it goes. this. We like this a lot. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this mysterious hoodie today, <laughs> it's because I don't want to be on camera this week, but I have to film because I have to get this done. I have to get this done as soon as possible because it is going to rain. It is going to start the seasonal non-stop Vancouver rain in about a day. So I have to get this painted by the end of the day. The good news is that the forecast has changed and we no longer have to paint the van tonight, uh, which is great because it took all day to finish the sanding. Um, I even have a little bit more to do and I would like to not have to continue this tonight because I have a really bad migraine. I've been working with this migraine all day. So hopefully I'll be able, maybe I'll finish up the sanding, wash the van, wash this van, and then go to bed and get up tomorrow morning, dry off the morning dew and get started. Trying to get the dust off so that I can start priming and painting today. It is not an easy thing when your water is limited. I'm finally almost done taping this up. I still am going to put some garbage bags on the tires. And it is already 2 p.m. I was hoping to get this done by like 9 in the morning or 10. And uh... <laughs> Yeah. I took the emblems off with dental floss and I'm gonna leave the glue because I'm gonna paint over it and then I'll still be able to see where the letters go so that I can glue them back on in the right place. I'm finally done taping it up and it's like, I guess probably three at this point. I just pray that it doesn't rain tomorrow. The primer is on, I let it dry for a bit, and then I sanded it down like just with a buffing sandpaper, very light. Uh, I also scuffed up the hood a bit because we're gonna paint that. I didn't prime it because it's textured. I'm not gonna get into it. Point is, we're gonna paint now, and it's 6 p.m. There's the first coat. 
look stupid, but that's pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to look. I'm not filming while I'm painting because I don't want to get paint on the phone. It's so dark that I can't see what I'm doing anymore, so I have to stop for the night. Okay. Here's the bigger problem. It's supposed to rain in about 10 hours from now. Uh, that may or may not happen because the weather, the rain tends to get pushed back very often. So we'll only know tomorrow if it does actually rain. Um, I'm hoping that whatever is on the van now is going to be cured enough or dry enough that the rain isn't going to wash it off. At least I have a lot more paint left. Uh, I just don't know when I'm going to be able to finish the job because once it starts raining, it basically is going to keep raining until spring. It looks way better than I expected. I just got a ticket for 50 bucks for not having my plates on while I left for breakfast. <laughs> I am trying to wet sand the imperfections out, basically all these drips and stuff like that, which uh, are there for a variety of reasons. Uh, it was way too windy to be painting outside. Uh, I was doing it in the dark and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also wet sanding the whole thing because I want the paint to stick better since I had to wait over 24 hours for this to cure. I just spent about $20 on these four things and I thought, I'm moving to Mexico. It's starting to look good, but we just ran out of paint and I'm still not done. So I'm going to the store to get even more paint after 15 cans. They have a lot of whites, but they don't have the white. They have no more of the color that I need. I just came all the way here. It's so far from where I was because supposedly they had six cans. I have found one can. I'm a little stressed out. Not only because the sun is already going down and I haven't finished the paint job, so I have to do it tomorrow. But also because at this point, I have spent a lot of money on paint. The weather is causing an issue. Between the rain and the condensation, things are getting complicated. I can't seem to keep the panels dry. All right, the sun's out. That's gonna make my day easier. It's essentially done, meaning I am out of paint. I could have used at least one more can to try to get things perfect, but that is not going to happen. So in about a half hour, I'm going to do the clear coat on the majority of the van. I'm just going to leave out the bumper because I still have to wet sand the bumper and fix some things on it somehow. I have quite a few runs on the bumper because I did it with a defective can and I did a little bit of a rush job because I was out of paint. 
The hood too, I wish I could fix some of this. I just don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. I was looking some stuff up online to try to see how I could possibly solve this problem. And I have decided that I am just going to spray the clear coat and see what happens. This is a problem. How oh, the hell? Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's kind of running over here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not into that. It looks like yellow streaks on my nice white paint. The hood looks good though. So I guess we'll see in a few minutes. I put two cans of clear coat on so far, but it's looking a little yellow. Um, I'm hoping that it dries clear or something. So I'm gonna wait a bit to see what happens before I put any more on. Okay, so I've been looking this up, trying to figure out what to do about this yellowing clear coat, and uh, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put another can on, which may be counterintuitive, but I wanna even out the color a little bit, even if it's a little not bright white, like I originally put, as long as the color's kinda even, and then once it's dry, then I'm gonna figure out if there's something that, that I can do about it. But in terms of another option being just to sand off what I've put there already, I am not doing that. That is not happening. I'm just sitting here going over my expenses and I spent way more money on paint than I anticipated. And I'm scared. Meaning, going into this, I'm like, it's not gonna be a problem because I bought this car so cheap that no matter what I sell it for, I'm gonna make a profit. But we're at a point in the market, in the economy, that car prices are expected to be dropping. And I don't know, like when I'm doing my market research, I don't know what these cars are actually selling for because people could be negotiating like I did behind the scenes. So a car that's listed for 4K might be selling for two or whatever. So I really don't know what the competition is like and that kind of scares me because I'm at the point where if I can't sell this vehicle for at least 2k I won't even make my expenses back even though the minivan looks way better than it did when I first got it I am concerned that it still doesn't look good enough to be able to sell it at a price that I need it to be sold at to be able to make any profit. And that is what's stressing me out. If I can't sell this Grand Caravan, I'll have no money left and no safe vehicle to drive. Basically, pretty soon I'll have no place to live.